Alright, this is Jared back with another episode of me playing Oxygen Not Included. So this time we're going to do a quick little project that's going to deal with the carbon dioxide that's slowly accumulating in our base. So we are producing oxygen, that's great, but if carbon dioxide keeps coming up and up, people will not be able to breathe over time as that goes over the base. So I want to at some point low in the base put a location where I'm going to deal with carbon dioxide. Let's choose this location. Just being careful here that I'm far enough away from this water because I don't want anything to leak. So I think that's going to be fine. I'm in the process of going to dig, dig out some lead. Really like lead. It has a negative property to it that uh, it sort of lowers the temperatures of machinery that's uh, made out of where it breaks but it is plentiful in uh, certain asteroids and this is the only little bit of lead i think i'm going to get in this asteroid but in the neighboring asteroid where i can teleport i'm going to be able to get a lot all right well that's not the point of this project though so i'm going to start the process actually i have to check to make sure i have the research i think i do this whole thing works on this basis of the carbon skimmer. So I want to put this right about here. Now I don't want to go to the very bottom of the base, at least not at this point. And that's because I still want to have some carbon dioxide saved because I want to pump that up to some of my rockets to use that as fuel for some of my early stage travel. So anyways, that's, that's fine. I've got a carbon skimmer there. I'm going, so this essentially turns water into polluted water. So if I wanted to, I could have actually fed water into this and send that into my oxygen system. That's one thing I could have done. I'm almost tempted to do that, but I think, I think I may wait and do this instead. So I'm going to have a system which I don't have. Okay, so this is the research that I'll need to do. Let's go over here. I'm going to turn or filter the water. So in the same way that, you're, that I have a deodorizer, I have something called a water sleeve. That's going to turn polluted water into regular water using sand. So they're essentially going to go back and forth between water, polluted water, and back and forth again. So I'm going to also have a liquid reservoir. And the idea is I'm going to have some water stored in here, and this is just going to pump the whole thing through. So what I'm trying to avoid, essentially, actually, is the process for needing a pump any more than in, uh, initially getting this thing going. Because if I have a pump involved in the system, it's going to take energy. Two, was it 250 or 40? Something like that. So quite a bit of power just to make water move around. That's the same amount that you need for uh, a gas pump as well. But given the fact that this is producing oxygen, it's using a, a quite a bit of power, I'm not so concerned. So I'm going to turn this thing off, algae. This, this is a lot of manual work of constantly cleaning it out. also produces polluted water, so I'm going to put a deodorizer on top of it. From this point on, that will no longer be our process for dealing with this carbon dioxide. We will have a new system in place eventually. It's time to do some research. Okay, good job research team. So we have a new building called a water sleeve. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna change the direction to be like this. So I'm gonna wait, I can to put the full pipes in until water is filled in this thing, but I can put some of the pipes in. So the polluted water is gonna go into the sleeve. The sleeve is then going to turn that into water, and actually I don't think I'm gonna have a problem connecting that at the moment. Then regular water will be sent into this device. And I'm not gonna connect it just yet. And that's pretty much it. This is a really simple build. It just needs power at this point. Alright, other than waiting for power, I'm going to go connect 
this. So now we can have water starting to be fed into the system, but we have to wait till power arrives. And I was just checking to see what the effects are of these two buildings. So if I click on the, uh, go into the database properties, I, essentially I was worried that over time, they're idle so I'm just going to pause that, I was worried that over time this set of uh, water that's in the uh, reservoir will dry up because maybe there's a loss of water in the system. But it doesn't look like that's the case. If I go in here, it looks like this is going to turn five kilograms water in, or kilograms of water into the same amount of polluted water. And the same thing is true over here, where I'm going to get the water turned into the exact same amount of polluted water. So this, I probably didn't meet, need this much water. I could have just add it in a little bit, enough to fill the uh, systems and been fine. But anyway, I, I'm not going to be crying over that one. This system is going to need filtration. I'm not as much as the other one, so I'm just going to reduce the size a bit. And that's going to be used not by this machine, right? It's going to be this machine over here. So that'll just mean that uh, that's in the area. Why are my people idle? Oh, they're idle. There's not enough copper. Nah, that's fine. Now I can uh, mine it out now. Also noticing that I've got a lot of polluted water, or polluted air around here. So I'm just going to add one of these and do some digging, and I'll see you in a little bit. Carbon be gone, at least anything above this point. All right, so I'm happy with this system. It is uh, anytime the carbon skimmer comes in contact with carbon dioxide, gets rid of it. And a little bit of carbon is going to fall down here so we can use it for tr space travel. And I'm just going to delete these and build some more so I can add in more uh, supplies for our oxygen. I think that's a success. We can move on to the next project, which I will do in the next episode. See you there. Jero signing out.